Hi guys, we are back in the kitchen for another baking vlog video. I I don't even know. I think it's around 12. I'm going to have like a late brunch. So I've been wanting to make these um, viral Japanese fluffy pancakes. I need lip balm for sure. And I'm also going to show you guys how I make the fluffy coffee that's been everywhere as well. So this is just going to be a viral um, TikTok brekkie because i've only seen these two on tiktok a lot and a lot on youtube lately so i thought why not do it on youtube as well i did share the coffee on my tiktok and by the way guys if you haven't followed me on tiktok make sure to do so it's so fun and i definitely recommend you guys go on there because like learning all the like the dance challenges and stuff is so fun and it's like a bit of a workout and it passes time so if you are that bored um can go on tiktok anyways let's start this video i will link the recipe um video that i followed in the info box as always and i'll put the measurements as well that i've used because i had to double it up for everyone um so yeah i'll write everything down i won't mention it in the video because i don't even remember what i measured but i've pre-measured everything already you're gonna need some egg yolks and then the white stuff what is it called i don't even know i forgot what it's called but the white stuff in egg um milk vegetable oil a flour and some sugar and we're gonna add a little bit of vinegar and uh, vanilla essence okay so you wanna gonna so you're gonna take your egg yolks your milk and your vegetable oil and we're just gonna give this a good wix wix a whisk gonna put a bit of our vanilla essence and give this a good mix then you're gonna sieve in your flour don't want to over mix anything because you want everything to be light and airy just make sure that's all combined and that is like the perfect kind of consistency like you want a trail getting everywhere you're going to put this to the side we're happy with that so you're going to take your egg whites and we're going to do a teaspoon of vinegar don't ask me why and you're going to want to get your electric whisker out and so once it's gotten like a bit white like this you want to start slowly putting your sugar in it's ready yeah that's ready if you do like baking you need one of these spatula things they're key to like folding so you want to put some in there slowly start folding it up so you put a in the video they put a little bit in and they mix it and then the rest is just mainly folding you want to get all of the mixture mixed up and you can start putting the rest in That just looks so satisfying. So when you do the edges like this, it should hold its form. So I'm really happy with the consistency. It looks like it's, it's what it's supposed to be. So we're gonna leave it as that. Okay, now onto the cooking part. We're gonna, I'm gonna put two pans out because I've got so much to make. Um, and you want a low heat with these. I'm just putting a bit of oil and I'm gonna tissue this down. Because they said to use oil, I'm just using my vegetable oil. I really don't want this to stick, so I guess we can start putting this on now. So I'm going to take my trusty old spoon. And fit three here. do another three here i've only got a little bit left so i'm going to try and build that up on the rest i mean they look 
massive. Right, whilst we're waiting for those pancakes to cook a little bit, hoping they don't get burnt, um, we're gonna make our Dalgona fluffy coffee. I'm literally craving it, but it's so unhealthy. This is a very unhealthy, like, brekkie. This is once in a while, okay, guys? I'm just telling you that right now. First thing you're gonna need is some coffee. Then you're gonna need some syrup. This is optional, but I'm using caramel. My sister got these for uh, me on Christmas and I just want to use it in this coffee today. You're gonna need some sugar and hot water It's the most simplest thing ever. I use this um, Alta Rica coffee. I really like this one Two tablespoons of coffee. Now bear in mind. This is very strong I made my brothers and sisters taste this and they hated it for them It's so bitter and so like coffee like and um, but for me, it's just perfect. I really want to like start I feel like this is burning. I see smoke I see smoke. I don't know how I'm going to flip this. Please. Oh, yes. Please. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Ignore that failed one. Okay, let's try these ones now. These ones look like they've stuck to the damn pan. And don't look like it's good either. Whilst these are cooking, I need to cover them. So you wanna put these like this and keep low heat. Just keep the low heat, guys. These ones, I don't know what to do with them. They just don't wanna come out. And also, the heat on this is very large, whilst this is quite small, so it's not like cooking everything. So I might just keep this for a bit. I might just even cover it as well. Okay, back to our coffee. We're gonna take two. So we've got two tablespoons of coffee, two tablespoons of sugar. Now I've got my hot water, so I'm gonna put two of these in. And I'm gonna put a little bit drop of my syrup. Give this a good mix. Oh my God, it's literally an arm workout. Back to the pancakes. These ones are fail, I feel like. They are burning a little bit. So I'm gonna try and put the I'm switching up the um, pancakes so that these ones can cook a bit too. So they look awful. Well, I've got two safe ones still, but this one was just a wreck. We'll see, we'll see. I've got some good ones there too. Now back to making this coffee. Keep mixing, mixing, mixing. I've got some to the side. Obviously, this is my first time making it, but like, they're not as thick as I wanted them to be, but they'll do. You just want to whisk like this for like five to ten minutes until like you get this kind of like consistency and you can see a trail. So yeah, that's ready for me, guys. I'm just waiting for my pancakes to get ready. I think I want to cut up some bananas and strawberries. I'm so excited. I, I tasted one of the funky looking ones and it tastes amazing, guys. Right, so this is right, so this is what my pancakes are looking like. They've got a good thickness, not at the thickest I would like them to be, to be honest, but it is my first time making them. And I, to be honest, I've tasted one of them. So these are the other ones that were kind of burnt. Um, um, but they taste amazing, like so yum. So I'm gonna put some like, um, I don't know, I'm really bad at like decorating food to be honest. I'm just gonna put some bananas and some strawberries. So now for my coffee, um, I've already put some ice cubes in. I'm gonna be using some oat milk today cause you know, I get that bloating when I drink milk, so I try to avoid it as much as I can. And it's one of the thickest non-dairy milks I find, but yeah. 
Now we're gonna take some of our coffee. All right, then you wanna take a big tablespoon and just take your mixed coffee mixture. And it should just float right on the top. Then I'm gonna use my metal straw. Put that in and voila. And just to finish off, I'm gonna use some organic maple syrup. so yummy and that is my brunch guys oh, oh. there's chichi in the background on the windowsill taste test of this of course i have to taste it on camera it's cooked throughout one thing i think i was supposed to do was put hot water and then cover it which i didn't do so obviously i don't know how to follow rules just gonna take banana This tastes like, I'm not gonna lie, if you tried pandan cake, it tastes just like that, but in a pancake form and less fluffy. But it has the exact same taste, it's so yummy. Oh my god guys, it's so good. That's what it looks like. I'm obviously gonna go enjoy this. I've got my coffee here. You wanna give it a good stir. doesn't get old obviously this is a huge coffee no one needs this much coffee but i'm actually i don't feel guilty because it's not full fat milk so but it's very strong guys i'm so pleased with this brunch i hope you enjoyed this video like these pancakes are absolutely yum i definitely recommend you guys making it um it's actually very simple but you just need to be careful with the, the amount of heat you apply you really need to keep it on low heat and make sure to put before you cover it after flipping them um make sure to put like a, a tablespoon or two tablespoons of hot water and then cover it so then it steams up and cooks the pancakes throughout but yeah i'm gonna head off and enjoy my little brekkie it's i feel so calm now i swear i like baking and just cooking right now no mostly baking actually just really calms me i feel so content <laughs> anyways i'm gonna go off now i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one guys bye